Hi guys, my name is Sarvansh and thanks for watching my old videos where you have learned uh, so many things about home page monitor and the other things. So today I am going to show you about the policies as in my last video you seen it uh, virus and spyware protection firewall and uh, now today's topic is IP intrusion prevention how we can use this policy in my semantic manager okay so i click on uh, intrusion prevention option i am under the policies and as you seen it's it's there is a already one ip policies there which is created when semantic manager is installed so this is the by default policy and if you want to create uh, it's very simple uh, you can go is add a intrusion prevention policy and you can create your own so let's create the one policy so here is a bangalore intrusion policy and uh, now i am in the <coughs> i click on intrusion prevention policy so here is a clearly mentioned network uh, intrusion policy automatically detect and block the network attack and the browser uh, intrusion provincial automatically detect and the block the browser attack so how it will be working it's working in a two way one is where uh, the network attack happen and how detecting semantic is releasing the signature for intrusion prevention once it's updated on your system and you are getting any DOS attacks so automatically it will detect okay this is the unwanted traffic and have to blocked by the semantic client and the same log will be generated in the your semantic manager so uh, and the second thing is for the browser so first option is enable network intrusion prevention where we can uh, use the internet ip address and these thing even you can protect uh, your browser as well through browser whatever website you are accessing or uh, some uh, un unwanted virus came or attack is happening through the browser so you can enable uh, in your browser also so in a browser it's working in a only the two browser one is your um, uh, this uh, internet explorer and the second is a uh, chrome so it's uh, not supporting uh, other browser only the two browser it will support so here is how uh, if you just enable this option and uh, you don't want to customize your policies that also fine semantic when they are releasing uh, their uh, ips signature it will update it to your manager then it will go to the client so by default policies will work and uh, there it will block your unwanted traffic so here if you want to uh, exclude some host like uh, i don't want to be uh, um, uh, scan um, i don't want to use my uh, uh, intrusion policies for particular ip range or for the subnet or uh, the um, uh, ip address ip range a uh, particular one ip address or the subnet so you can define here and add it so particular that uh, machines will not be scanned by the ips so that's the exclusion we can put it here if you are not putting any exclusion it will work for all machines where you deploy this policy so here will come with the exceptions uh, so exceptions if you want add uh, just click on the add button come on okay so here is a already list that is published by the semantic and uh, like a uh, remote bin login bio and uh, this is the remote bin bio boot to so you can add it uh, anything here is a so many list are there for this signature or if you are not adding by default default policy will apply like a web attack info stealer website if you select this click on next what you want you want to allow it or you want to block it so just i am blocking this uh now my exception is ready so when i will be getting such this attack automatically it will block by the ip intrusion prevention so that's how i can uh, block the uh, unwanted traffic here is ddos if you want to allow this okay just select it and here is like allow and you 
click so ddos attack you are allowing so guys don't allow anything it's just for the exception you block it so if you are not 100% sure whether uh, this is a like a, a false and positive attack if you sure then only allow or else don't allow it block it so automatically that exception policy will work now uh, this exception policy for the in the mac also you can use in a same way you can add it here if you are not adding not a problem by default policy that comes from the semantic that with the signature that will work automatically in your machine you need to just enable this policy by using this option enable this policy okay once you click here and uh, it's showing like it's not currently assigned to anyone okay no i don't want now um it you seen it here this uh, uh, by default policy is applied for the eight groups and now uh, i want to assign this policy to my the bangalore group so just go here and select this option assign this policy so once you click on yes it will remove uh, old policy and it will replace with the new policy so now my the uh, ip policy is assigned to the three group now i want to check where it is applied okay so it's used by go to the list and here is a bangalore blr blr2 so this my policy is applied in this group and the other options if you want like i want to add it my policy so select it and uh, just select click on the added the policy so you can modify it again if you want to remove this okay i can delete and apply so whatever changes you want to do it you can do it assign this policy where you want to assign i want to assign this policy to the delhi group also so i click and assign this now it assigned to the six group i want to withdraw this policy i want to remove this policy from the delhi location okay just click on the withdraw and this policy is removed now delhi is not having any of the ip okay so guys this is how we are using and thanks for the watching this video and good to see you in my next video so